Good day! One of the learning objects that we've taken in our course was azimuth and bearing. Now, let us define those things. Bearing. A direction of a line may be described by giving its bearing. The bearing of a line is the acute horizontal angle between the reference meridian and the line. A quadrantal system is used to specify bearings such that a line may fall under one of the following quadrants. Northeast, Southeast, Northwest, and the Southwest. Each quadrant is numbered from 0 to 90 degrees from either the north or south end of the meridian to the east or west end of the reference parallel. The fact that bearing angles never exceed 90 degrees is an advantage when extracting values of their trigonometric functions for use in computations. Another common method used in designating the direction of a line is by the use of azimuths. The azimuth of a line is its direction as given by the angle between the meridian and the line measured in a clockwise direction from either the north or south branch of the meridian. Azimuths are usually preferred over bearings by most surveyors because they are more convenient to work with such as in computing traverse data by electronic digital computers. The azimuth of a line may range from 0 to 360 degrees and letters are not required to identify quadrants. For any particular survey, the direction of zero azimuth is either always north or always south. In practice, azimuths are generally measured from the north branch of the reference meridian for ordinary plane surveys. For large-scale geodetic surveys and in astronomical observations, azimuths are measured from the south branch of the meridian. Diagram, the figure 1, you will see that the angle is measured from the north branch of the reference meridian to the line BA. The azimuth from north of line BA is 342 degrees and 48 minutes. In this figure, we can see that the angle is measured from the south branch of the meridian. The azimuth from south of line BA is 325 degrees and 5 minutes. In this moment, we will now determine the bearing of this quadrantal system. As we can see, the line AB in the northeast quadrant has an angle of 35 degrees 41 minutes and 5 seconds. Therefore, the bearing of line AB is north 35 degrees 41 minutes and 5 seconds east. Well, the line AC, which lies in the northwest quadrant, has an angle of 59 degrees 5 minutes and 1 second. So the bearing of the line AC is north 59 degrees, 5 minutes and 1 second west. In determining a bearing of a specific line, we should consider the position of the line in a quadrantal system to find its direction. We will determine the azimuth of the given problem. In the first figure, we will determine the azimuth from the north. The line OP from the south as an angle of 20 degrees and 10 minutes. So we have to find the azimuth from the north of the line OP. We all know that the angle from the north to south is 180 degrees, and we have already the value of angle in the line OP, which is 20 degrees and 10 minutes. Using a scientific calculator, we will subtract 20 degrees and 10 minutes from 180 degrees So the answer is 159 degrees and 50 minutes. Therefore, the azimuth from the north to the line OP is 159 degrees and 50 minutes. Let's go now to the second figure. As we can see, we're determining the azimuth from the south. 
The line OP has an angle from the south which is 15 degrees and 1 minute. As we all know, the revolution of a quadratal system is equivalent to 360 degrees. To find the azimuth from the south to the line OP, we have to subtract the given angle from 360 degrees. Using again the scientific calculator, The answer is 344 degrees and 59 minutes. That's all. Thank you.